iOS 17 has been released for a while now. I've had plenty of time to test out almost every single feature. At first, we all thought that it would be like a minor update because the focus was mostly on the Apple Vision Pro. In the end, Apple eventually added more feature than I originally thought. Yo, what's up guys? Apple Design back with another video. I'm going to share with you not five, not 10, but 17 new iOS 17 features you absolutely need to know as well. Number one, personalized contact poster. We can now add new personalized contact posters to our contacts, to our phone app. To do that, you can go to contacts, then press on my card. In here, we have this new edit option. We can press on edit. Now we have the possibility to add our own personalized contact poster. One I already made. It's just with a photo of myself and then some nice edits. Let's create a new one for the purpose of this video. You can add like emojis, monogram or photos. Let's add a photo. Let's for example add this one with a new photo. You can just crop and pinch. It's a bit similar to the lock screen we got in iOS 16. You can add different filters, different font and even font sizes, different colors. Now when you call people, they will see your personalized contact post. Two is Apple's new name drop feature. Basically what this does is that you can type each other's iPhone and then immediately the contact details will be shared just like that. The new automatic crop feature. In iOS 16, we had to crop just like this, went to crop and then in here we had to adjust the size like we wanted. Now you don't have to do it like that anymore. You can immediately like zoom Zoom in on your photo and then you get this crop option here in the top. You cropped your image, simple and quick. Related to Siri, we always had to evoke Siri with, hey Siri, see, there you go. But now the only thing we just have to say is, Siri, so the hey is gone. We don't have to say hey Siri anymore. Five, talking about Siri, we now also have the possibility to make smart lists. Siri is a bit smarter now in iOS 17. If I'm asking to add stuff to my grocery list, she will categorize them smartly. Let's give that a try. Siri, mm. add carrots, apples, vinegar, and vegetable oil to my groceries list. Okay. And now let's check that out. As you can see, it's perfectly categorized, really neat, simple AI feature from Siri. Number six is a new animated live sticker. Let me give you an example. We go to photos and then we lift subject from any photo. And now you have this new add sticker feature. Just like that, you've added a new sticker and you have the possibility to add like these all awesome effects. So for example, we can select the shiny one, which is my favorite, but you also have the puffy one, the comic one, outline, and of course the original. You can take the shiny sticker, just hit done, and now it's added to your stickers collection. So yeah, let's for example, use that sticker into iMessage. And here's a little bonus trick that you can do. We hit the plus icon, we go to stickers, and now you can just drag it and paste it anywhere in iMessage. So you don't need to edit specifically in a message anymore. It's just like that, but you can just drag and drop it everywhere in the conversation. Probably one of my favorite features in iOS 17, the new standby mode. Basically what you have to do is when you're charging your iPhone like that, try and charge this boy up, there it is. If you now turn your iPhone horizontally, it will go in a special new mode, the standby mode it's called. There you go. As you can see, this is a fully new overview so yeah there are a bunch of new like, screens that you have the photos with the time and you can basically edit everything with new screens like that add your to-do list we can also change this one maybe a clock you can even toggle on the smart rotation mode so that it changes dynamically eight is all about the camera there is a new level feature that allows you to take more leveled shots so we need to go into settings scroll down to the camera and we now have this new level option. Toggle is on, you're gonna see a horizontal line being added to our photos there. So you can see it right there, it's trying to level and the moment that it's yellow, that's actually the sign that your shot is leveled horizontally correct. That together with the grid, add some really nice control to your shots. Related to the Maps app, finally after years, you now have the possibility to download maps and use them offline for if you're traveling and you don't have any connection whatsoever. To do this pretty easy, we go to Maps. In Maps, we press on our profile, go to Offline Maps and now we can just 
download any map. For example, we type in Cupertino, where Apple is located. Then you can just resize and zoom in, make the area you'd like to download as big or as small as possible. And yeah, simply hit the download button and your map's going to be downloaded. 10 is about the keyboard. Apple significantly improved the AI in the keyboard. They're not mentioning these like AI improvements, but just that the keyboard is getting smarter. You need to go to settings. In settings, you need to scroll down to general. And in general, you need to go to keyboard. In here, there are two new features, check spelling and predictive. Let's turn these on. Your typing experience should be way better, make way less mistakes. Let me just show this in a little demo here. So let's write. And what you can see here, for example, now if you type on trick, you can see new words that are being proposed. That's one. The other feature is that you now see this prediction of the word and you can just type spacebar. When you make longer phrases, it slowly starts to understand your way of typing, makes better prediction. 11 has to do with the Apple Watch. We're able to ping our iPhone with our Apple Watch. It means that if we lose our iPhone, we're able to go to our Apple Watch. Ah, there it is. And then if you long press on this, and your iPhone is being pinged. Now you can also do this the other way around in iOS 17. To do this, you need to go to your control center and you have this new ping my Apple Watch feature. So yeah, there you go. And to enable this, you simply need to go into your settings. Then in settings, scroll down to control center. There it is. And then scroll down to more controls and it should be right there. We are going to add it to our included controls. Now it's in the control center and you can just ping your Apple Watch just like that. 12 is the new FaceTime voicemail. That is that you can leave a video message. So now when somebody's unavailable after you've called them on FaceTime, you have this new record video option. It looks like that, just a recording. And yeah, we basically can leave a message. Hey brother, you missed me. Just call me back as soon as possible. So you can watch it back if you want, you can retake it. Let's hit save and we can send it. So yeah, as you can see, is the video is also saved and sent to the person that missed my FaceTime call. Also, this is how it looks from the perspective of the other person. So they get this pop-up and then let's see how the message looks like. We can play this message that has been sent. You can message him back or FaceTime him and even also save this video. 13 is about the live voicemail feature. If you're calling someone and they're not able to respond, you can send them a live voicemail message. Basically how that looks, I'm not able to demo this in Unfortunately, you can basically see the contact poster of someone. You just see the word he or she has spoken. It's like this, pretty handy feature. It allows you to leave a message. So a spoken message will be translated into text. 14 is about interactive widgets. We can add interactive widgets. Normal widgets were introduced in iOS 14. And now we can add widgets that are interactive. Let's see if we can get one, like the reminders, for example, we add this. Now we have this interactive widget, which allows us to manipulate this on the go. So we don't have to go into the reminders app ourselves and you can just check it immediately from your home screen. As you can see, the number changes here as well. Number 15 is related to PDF. PDFs now are way better, more user-friendly in the notes app, for example. So let's go to a PDF file. We have PDF file here, and then we can just import it just like that. And as you already see, there's a totally new overview. You have have way better viewing experience than before. You also can click on the three dots here. You can change the different size of the PDF from medium to small. Then if you tap this icon here in the top right, the full overview, you can tap the three dots, change the orientation, even insert a blank page. You can also very easy scan text within a PDF and then just use it however you'd like. PDFs right now are getting a big update into the notes app. 16 is related to AirDrop. AirDrop now has a couple of extra features coming. Unfortunately, they're not available yet. They will be available later this year. One of them is the AirDrop animation has changed. So let's AirDrop to the other iPhone and see how that looks. So as you can see here, there's a new AirDrop animation, a new way this is being displayed. Tap this and you can see it there. Some new UI changes. There's some other changes that I'm not able to demo, but one of them is for example that 
if two iPhones are airdropping something and they get too far out of range, the airdrop will continue via the internet. The other one is that you simply need to bring both iPhones close together and then it will automatically airdrop. 17 is related to AirPods. Not only do we get this new dark mode theme, if your iPhone is using a dark mode theme on your AirPods, which is really cool, but there's also a new adaptive audio mode, which basically blends transparency mode and active noise cancellation. Let's say you're walking somewhere and you have active noise cancellation on and somebody suddenly talks to you or maybe you need to hear something from the road, something like a warning, then your AirPods automatically will change to transparency mode. So you'll be sure to hear that. Unfortunately, this is only exclusive to the AirPods Pro 2, the second generation AirPods Pro. Hopefully it will also come to the AirPods Max. I think that's a really good move. So yeah, there you go, guys. 17 iOS 17 features. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.